PCN recently stopped in with the Duxbury FACTS group. FACTS stands for Families, Adults, and Communities Tackling Substance. With a growing need for resources and a new approach to handling the opioid and substance abuse issues, Duxbury FACTS has been working with schools, the police, religious organizations, and other towns in creating awareness and working towards recovery options. PCN stopped in to learn more. We are um, in our second year, and FACTS is an ac acronym for Families, Adults, <laughs> and Communities Tackling Substance. And each one of the uh, towns around here, Marshfield, Situate, Cohasset, Pembroke, has a FACTS, a, a community coalition, that was really um, born, if you will, out of the opioid crisis. In many ways, uh, even though our town is fairly small, we have been touched in a very dramatic way by opioid uh, deaths of young people. And so um, we recognize for a long time that there's um, a growing alcohol drug problem among young, among young people. But the opi opioid crisis, I think, brought it to a point where some folks felt we have to start doing something. The, um, the uh, heroin that's out there now is what I call unforgiving. You know, we have young people who are um, losing their life and not getting a second chance. So we're, we, we have this coalition that comes together for um, prevention, education, uh, policy and enforcement all around substance use. Uh, and and it's, uh, it's been amazing over the, over the two years. Uh, several things that I've seen happen. One is the fact that there is a drug uh, crisis in a town like Duxbury has come out of the closet, if you will. Uh, what motivates me initially to join this group was um, I have buried, uh, I've done the funerals and buried uh, six, six or seven young people as a result of opioid overdose. And originally, a couple of years ago, when um, this started happening, uh, folks, parents would never want it known in the service or in the obituary or anything. There was shame around an opioid death. But now we realize that we call it, we call it substance uh, use disorder. It's not, like the chief was saying today, the point is not prosecution and arrest, it's help. Uh, so that's been a tremendous um, culture shift. The other culture shift is what the chief was talking about today, the difference in the uh, enforcement approach. Uh, you know, you heard about this uh, amazing team that, that, that is in our police department that goes out and is proactive, and it's not, the point is not to arrest somebody, it's to get them help. Jimmy Tugas and his folks are just amazing. And um, also, they do follow up if there is an overdose. They go out the next day um, in a you know plain cr car, not police cruiser, with a social worker. And the goal is to get that person help. It's not a high enforcement thing to put this person in jail. The the goal is to get this person help. That's a tremendous shift. So um, that's been exciting. We're realizing that this is a disease just like any other disease. It's, it's a, a disorder. And the, one of the really beautiful things I've seen happen over the two years that FACTS has been around is the conversation is out in the open. I remember at our first anniversary last May, we probably had 50 people in the room, and um, we'd all kind of uh, just say our names and, you know, Every, during every meeting, but I asked if people would say, what motivated you to join FACTS in the first place? And almost to a person, they said, I have a family member who has a, an abuse problem, or you know, there was a personal experience. So all of a sudden, we are talking about it, and it's so much more healthy, because when we talk about it and shine the light on it, we can really do something about it.